Needing positivity all around you Many life struggles trying to hold you down When your goal is being great to push through dark clouds That try to tear you down Aquarius, 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 Aquarius. Hey, woo, hey, what's popping? Did you miss me? <laughs> Happy Turkey Twinkie One, my boo. I show me shy motherfucking asses. Listen, Aqua Babies. I tried to get to you guys in the month of December. Like I told Libra, I believe in divine timing, honey, okay? So we're here now in the place where we need to be, where we're supposed to be in this space. This reading, we're going to say it's for the month of January 2021, but this reading is timeless, okay? You guys, oh my God, so many things have changed. So many things have um, really been um, illuminated, you know, um, and I got to say, you guys, I'm just really thankful for this space. I'm thankful for you all. I'm thankful for your love, you guys. I'm thankful for all of your support, your emails, your donations, you guys. Aquarius, y'all are really one of my favorites, like, wholeheartedly. And I just want to start out this reading just letting y'all know how much I really love and appreciate your energy. Thank y'all. Because through 2020, through my injury, through a lot of things that I was going through my own transmutation period space with, you guys have been such a blessing to me, and I really wanted to thank you all for that, okay? Um, hey, go ahead. This first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. <laughs> also, this first time to my channel, look out, I cuss, okay? May cuss a little bit, may cuss a lot, but just depends on, you know, what the hell these cards saying, but I'm a cuss. So, if that shit don't work for you, please feel free to find go, not, go find another beautiful reader that can assist you without cussing, because it's my shit, and I'm going to do that, all right? Thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, y'all, all of that graciously thank you so much from the most humblest space ever okay um if you need a personal reading that information can be found within the description box below all right i don't do that i ain't no techie motherfucker so i i, I copied and pasted that shit for y'all so go do that because i had to go re listen okay we ain't gonna get into that shit that's some last year 2020 shit but i listen that shit in the description box don't be asking me no fucking simple questions i don't like it okay it's just too much shit i'll be having to do i don't like it all right you guys, um, this ain't gonna resonate with every damn Aquarius. Take what does, leave the rest, okay? Um, this will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers, Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, as well as the North Node in Aquarius, okay? It's a fucking jungle upstairs, all right? I don't even know how many fucking cheering is up there. I, I think, <laughs> cameraman, how many you counted? Four, five, six, little motherfuckers? Like six of them. Like, I love the kids. Okay, I ain't mad at them. Them some big ass kids. All right, they is corn cornbread, country cornbread fed. <laughs> Everything is big in motherfucking Texas. Do you hear the motherfuckers? So listen, might be some boom, 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 boom. But just you know, work with me here. All right, gotta do what we gotta do. Girl had to have shit to do, and I was having, trying to slide my babies in because I wanted to come let y'all know I was loving them, y'all, in this season. Okay, y'all the reason. Let's get it. All right. So with that said, you guys. Um, let's jump right into it. Um, intuitively, Aquarius, I got so much for you all. I got a lot of esoteric, um, I, I, I felt a lot of esoteric energy first and foremost. I heard a lot of ancient souls, okay? A whole lot of, um, I'm also hearing, some of y'all could definitely have Libra in your chart as well, okay? Because some of y'all, I'm hearing galactical warfare. I don't know if all of the signs are getting this or if, if there's something going on galactically, okay? I'm not an astrologist, so or an astrologer, so I'm gonna be very honest with you. I don't know what's going on with the planetary alignments at this very moment. Well, what I do know is, um, it's something that's very significant to Saturn and Pluto. Okay, that is going to have a lot to do with your reading today because I felt a lot of energy that is pertaining to the stars, astronomy. Some of you all could be astrologists. Okay, um, and Aquarius, listen, it may or may not resonate. Cause I forgot to get that PSA. It may or may not motherfucking resonate with every motherfucking Aquarius, okay, y'all? If that motherfucking shoe don't fit, don't try to make it fit. If you try to put that motherfucker on, yes, yeah, it's going to fall, okay? Period, all right? Um, I got a lot of the opportunity to forgive 
for January 2021, okay? For some of you all, this has to do with um, you actually coming to terms and acknowledging um, some type of learned behavior or some type of behavioral pattern in another person that actually mirrors some type of trauma to you uh, and your journey as well. Um, and I definitely feel like a lot of triggering a lot of triggering this month, but I feel like triggering in a massive way. This could even be realizations within self, okay? Or coming to terms with the shadow aspects of yourself and being accepting of that instead of judging yourself. Yet, therefore, perceiving that other people are going to judge you the same way that you harshly judge yourself is what I'm hearing for some of you all, okay? Um, I am hearing be very, be easier on yourself, okay? Be very cautious to the things that you are saying to yourself, the things that you are speaking to your consciousness okay because this month is really holding weight all right so we're gonna go ahead and get into the intuitive messages that i actually got within your meditative session um because i don't want this to be a 30 minute video because the bitch got shit, the, the cameraman got a second jizz off y'all okay so we gotta slide in how the fuck we can slide in listen and i'm ain't no knocking the cameraman with the jizz off because like i told you i'm a, i'm this person okay so because i'm this person Shout out to the motherfucking cameraman and them jizz offs, man. Listen, he be doing this motherfucking ting, okay? So listen, Aquarius, the song that I channeled for you guys, it was actually three, all right? Because I kept big emphasis on body goals, okay? So Megan the Stallion, body, yada, 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 yada. Show me y'all over there shaking that ass. Shout out to them legs, to them strong knees, Aquarius, okay? Um, I also got um, Kim Chemistry. There's nowhere to hide, ayy, when love is calling your name, we, yes, honey. So, Love Calls by Kim Chemistry. I also got Megan Thee Stallion, Big Old Free, huh, Big Booty, Big Old Tree. <laughs> I'm making weight for the, uh, hit it with a big old, mm, ah, 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 feet on the bed. I mess them up in the head. Fixation. Someone is fixated on your energy, Aquarius, okay? For some of you all, I'm also picking up on the energy of obsession, like lightweight obsession. Someone actually like has a particular ritual or time, like they, they actually like, when this person go, when they wake up, they seeing what the fuck Aquarius is doing. When they go on break, okay, they seeing what the fuck Aquarius is doing. When they log the fuck out and go sit they ass in their vehicle to go light whatever this is that they like, no, some of y'all this person smokes weed after work, okay. They're going to go check and see what the fuck Aquarius is doing. This person is fixated on your energy. For some of you all, this person could be attached to another person in an unhappy relationship, okay? Um, but the intuitive messages that I got for you all is karmic returns, envy, lineage restoration, medicine woman, focus, body goals, mediumship, avoidance, addictions, Masking, fasting, subconscious revelations, self-care, cosmic awareness, astrology, reasons and seasons, family ties, new home, promotion, heart chakra, remodeling, trauma bonding, slave to your loyalty, telepathy, herbal divination, Water magic, sex magic, tantrics, symbolism, rapid manifestations, presentation, shaman, spiritual teacher, guru, alchemic blending, mother issues. All right. A lot of comparison energy as well, Aquarius. Either you comparing comparing your gifts or um, your abilities or your journey to another person or someone's looking at you and doing this, okay? But a lot of trauma bonding, all right? For some of you all, this could even be someone who you're in a relationship with. I feel like for some of you all, you're realizing that you're attracting individuals with mommy issues because I feel like there's a mirroring with that, with that particular, uh, that, that particular trauma. I'm here a narcissistic mother, okay? For some of my Aquariuses as well, I'm also picking up on the energy of ancient studies, okay? Uh, this could also have to do with symbolisms, okay? I'm, I'm also picking up on the energy of like... Um Amulets, okay, so there could be an amulet could be significant. All right, this could also have to do with the recognition of a particular individual or some type of confirmation that I just gave something something regarding an amulet. This could also be having to do with a pentagram. A 
a lot of emphasis on like psycho size okay psychosomatic psychosomatic behavior psychosomatic personality psychosomatic disorder psychosomatic also I'm picking up on the energy of comedics some of you guys could be studying comedics this could even have to do with uh, I'm hearing root work but this feels also like some type of herbal divination around like different aspects of, this, this could have to do like different aspects of healing okay but I feel like herbal divination used for medicinal uses or actually like comparing the two or teaching this to other people some of you all are literally meant to be gurus okay I'm also here breaking into the industry based on what you know the knowledge that you have attained it's okay I'm here philanthropist hold on babies well Chris y'all messages are coming in so fast I'm hearing ancestral interference, okay? For some of you all, if you're dealing with a relationship or this could even be some type of position that you had at work, for some of you all, something is ending but your ancestors are interfering because I'm hearing that you're a slave to your loyalty. Some of you all are so loyal, are so, so loyal to a cause, person, place, or thing. You don't know when it's time to let the fuck go or there's this confusion around doing so because of how the how it's going to impact another person. Your natural humanitarians and spirit is saying it's time to shine your light when it comes to doing so on a global aspect. Some of you all are whistleblowers. This could also be some type of conspiracy theorist or what will be seen as like conspiracy theories but I feel like for some of you all you're actually able to like provide proof but I feel like there's a fear that the government or somebody's gonna come for your ass okay some of you all are really on the fence about putting out some type of putting out some type of information breaking into a new industry this could even be expanding the services that you offer like if you're a reader you could also be wanting to expand your services when it comes to doing a uh, breaking into like practitioner work or doing so for other people this could even be reiki healing frequency healing okay but you guys are taking healing to the next level and i feel like you're laying the roots to those foundations in the month of january 2021 all right so let's jump into it we're going to get a Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle card for you guys for the month of January 2021 to see um, what crystal will be useful for my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers, Jupiter, Mercury, Mars, and North Node of Aquarius. That jumped out quick. You guys got Trigonic, trigonic Quartz, okay? So I'm literally hearing parallel universes parallel universes timeline shifts jumping timelines quantum physics okay all right this is the number 23 five brings change honey 23 y'all know we don't chop and screw these motherfucking oracle messages honey we gonna say it as is 23 trigonic quartz the soul's code Trigonic, Trigonics holds the secrets of the universe and rapidly expand your awareness of multi-dimensions. Trigonics are cosmic coding for the soul. <clears throat> you are an internal spirit on a human journey. As a result, you may feel that Earth is not your true home, but remember that you are here for a purpose. Expand your awareness, restructuring your physical and subtle bodies, beliefs, and realities. Birth your soul fully on Earth if you feel alienated. Meditation triggers your soul's full potential and purpose. In, re in reintegrating fragments of your soul, you bring about wholeness. Recognize the multidimensional breadth of your own soul. Remain honest to achieve success. Reach beyond apparent reality and karma. Let go of conflicts. Renegotiate soul contracts. Heal soul traumas and the etheric blueprint. Expel toxins from the physical and subtle bodies to download higher frequency spirit energies and integrate the light body. Your soul provides everything you need for well-being. The frequency of this stone is extremely high. It's good for the soma, mid hairline, alta major, soul star, and stellar gateway. Great for Aquarius and Pisces and those on a soul path of evolution to the highest dimensions, okay? You guys, I'm also hearing access to the Akashic, okay? So I am hearing a very heightened awareness, very heightened instincts. Um, I keep hearing cosmic consciousness, okay? Cosmic consciousness. For some of you all, this could also have to do with the 
I, I keep I'm hearing Arcturians, okay? Palladians, Arcturians. For some of you all, you may be researching uh, upon the researching these galactic races. This could also have to do with some type of light codes. I'm hearing DNA activations, light codes. A lot of activity around the crown chakra as well as around the solar plexus chakra okay for some of you all there's a need for you to balance that or this these chakras could be overly active in the month of january all right so we're gonna start off with a soul lesson journey card give me two for my aqua babies two for my aqua babies i feel like for some of you all queers you may feel as if like some of you guys may be finding yourself daydreaming. I'm also picking up on a lot of like visions. This could even be premonitory energy premonitions, okay? For some of you all, I am hearing like the doomsday, doomsday. That could be significant. Doomsday, judgment day, doomsday. All right, soul journeys. Whoa, soul journeys. All right, so it came out again. Health. I am hearing cigarettes, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm seeing smoke. Some of you guys could decide to stop smoking cigarettes or to go on a fast when it comes to smoking, okay? You guys got health. Also, this could also be you going into the industry of some type of like um, health care. I'm hearing doula. Some of you guys could be doulas or getting some type of certification when it comes to child birthing or natural births, water births, okay? Um, this could also be you teaching some type of course or workshops when it comes to the benefits of doing so. Um, I'm also picking up on the energy as well of um, the father. Someone could be getting some type of information regarding their father's, their father's health. There could also be a need to forgive your father, and this could be the opportunity to do so, but I feel like it's going to be under extreme circumstances where you really have to choose compassion and see things through the spectrum of love aqua babies okay also let another person be there for you because some of you guys are suffering in silence alone and spirit is saying you don't have to it's a choice okay I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. For some of you all, I'm also hearing the changing of your diet. So some of you guys could be choosing to change your diet. Green leafy vegetables could be of significance, okay? Some of you guys are going on an all green diet. All right? Or I'm also hearing juicing, juices. Abundance, honey. I'm a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality, okay? For some of you all, I'm also hearing assessing, um, getting, gaining access or attaining access to knowledge within the Akashic when it comes to the law of manifestation or the law of attraction, okay? This could also be, I'm hearing telekinesis, telepathy, all right? Some of you guys are really taking this time to be in hermit mode and really getting in tune with your physical and with your spiritual gifts. And I feel like you're learning how to manifest these things within the physical to not I'm not gonna say manipulate energy but hell yeah I am gonna say that manipulate energy in order for things to go within your favor and I'm gonna say beware of doing this when it comes to love matters and breaking up some type of union because the the, the divine is really cautioning you with this okay I'm also hearing the signing of a will unexpected death for those of you who are maybe finding out or losing someone in the month of january of significance i'm strongly hearing father it feels masculine um this could even be a child's father some of y'all could be finding out that your child's father is sick someone's wanting to come back and co-parent and make things right because they really want to leave you something okay this conversation could be very uncomfortable because i feel like there's unspoken truths and i feel like this has to do with your emotions but spirit is saying really see this from a spectrum of love have show empathy and show compassion in a situation i feel like how you thought something was going to go is going to go completely another way they're saying if you think positive can you manifest this manifest things to go in a positive light especially if you choose to be um to be to, to, to take leadership in a situation and choose to be the bigger person okay and this definitely have to do with relationships okay so this have to do with family i'm strongly hearing family but also co-parenting okay relationships I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Forgiveness doesn't mean that you have to fuck with another person like that. It just means that you guys can come to a common ground, all right, and be able to move forward. But first and foremost, the important thing is forgiving your damn self, Aquarius, because for some of you all, you're holding on to... Some of y'all feel bad about letting someone come into your life. You feel as if you made a foolish decision moving forward in a relationship or having some type of reconciliation with somebody because they came back and did the same fucked up shit, all right? For some of you all, this has to do with you feeling bad about... I'm hearing omitted truths, okay? 
omitted truths. That could be significant to someone. All right. All right, so Spirit, let's run some tarot. What messages do you have for my Aqua Babies? For January 2021. Aquarius, Moon Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers, Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, Mars, no. All right. Some of you guys could be on the fence about a Capricorn and how to approach this Capricorn, okay? For some of you all, you're reflecting on some type of relationship or some type of cycles within your within the flow of your relationships, how they all uh, resemble one another, okay? To get to the bottom of where the healing needs to begin, the foundations of your traumas, all right? Some of y'all could be psychiatrists, okay? Or going to school to be... Um, to be a psychologist. For some of you all, some of y'all are dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of y'all finding out that something something that could occur in the past with this water sign when the relationship was fresh is what I'm hearing, okay? I'm also picking up on the energy of some of you all could have manifested for someone to come back and give you some type of closure or clarity. I'm also picking up on a telepathic connection that you have with someone. I'm hearing astral stalking, okay? Be very, uh, be very careful when it comes to... Um, I'm here and be vigilant, but also be very discerning with who you allow who you allow to give you readings, okay? Because for some of you all, you could be getting readings from someone who you're familiar with. This person is trying to manipulate energy, especially when it comes to telling you that someone is not for you or someone's not aligned for your highest good. But I am picking up on the energy of someone like leaving out like oh again omitted truths, okay? I'm also picking up on the energy of if you're dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone could be, see, some of y'all could be finding out that someone could be holding back money. Someone could also not be working a, uh, working a regular damn job just to avoid paying child support. What sorry motherfucker is this? Some of these people should have got their ass whooped with it when they was kids. Maybe they would have turned out a little different, okay? That's my personal opinion. Some of these people need a fucking whooping. Even as adults, they need to grab, grab the strap. They need to fucking get the bill on their ass, okay? For some of you all, you have a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like someone's trying to hold on to you by causing all kind of fucking confusion, okay? I'm also hearing rumors and gossip, all right? Rumors, gossip around sexual... All right. Somebody even going as being petty and saying you gave them an STD or someone's accusing you of this. I feel like someone's trying to hold on to you. Someone doesn't want you to move forward. So some of y'all dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, where you feel as if you have to hide how much money you fucking got because this person is, is codependent on you for some type of stability, okay? This could even be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For some of you all, you feel as if you're somebody's mama, Okay? And you tired of the shit. You don't know if commitments are for you. You just really want to focus on your money and the seeds in which you're trying to plant right now, okay? I'm also picking up on, yeah, things being illuminated. You put, some of y'all could be dealing with a Pisces or a Sagittarius, very Jupiterian energy. But I feel like things coming to the surface, okay? This could also be someone actually expressing how they genuinely feel. I feel like someone wants to hold on to you, but this person has a phobia of commitments. This person also got a toxic relationship with their mama, all right? For some of you all, also, if you were waiting on some type of uh, legality or some type of, like, closure in a legal system, yeah, someone could also be delaying a, a, a legal case. I feel like this person is delaying this. For some of you all, someone, someone's being petty with your child when it comes to um, finances because this person wants the whole damn deal. You don't want to deal with this individual. This person could definitely be a Taurus, Pisces, Sagittarius, Aquarius, could also be someone who is a Scorpio, okay, or Leo. I feel like someone who doesn't want to accept the fact that, the, that, that a relationship, a situation ship is over. Some of you all are on the damn fence. Should I continue moving forward or should I return back to work? Or should I take this motherfucking stimulus and flip it one time? And invest in a business in LLC. And I feel like for some of you all, you're going to move towards actually starting that own, starting your own business. Actually expanding the services in which you already offer. I'm also picking up on the energy as well of, I'm hearing that Drake song, started from the bottom, now we here. Started from the bottom, okay. For some of you all, you could definitely be in the industry of aesthetics. Some of you guys could be personal trainers. I'm also picking up on some type of like nutritional like diet plans, okay? This could even be again workshops or you guys actually like teaching other individuals on how to live holistically. More money when it comes to receiving a promotion from work 
but you feel as if this is going to be a hold up when it comes to you actually getting your business that you want to start off the ground. You need them to make a damn decision and make one based on faith because ultimately, for some of you all, Spirit wants me to let you know that this is your purpose. So it's going to keep, it's going to continue falling at your damn feet. I am picking up blessings falling at your feet. Also, people being aligned on your path to come in and assist you. You guys just have to be open, open and receptive to that assistance, okay? Yeah, for some of y'all, there's a Leo that's sorry, Aquarius, honey. Uh, some of you all are manifesting some type of reconciliation with the Leo, all right? For some of you all, this person could be coming to see you. The second week of, I'm sorry, the second week of, uh, February is going to be significant to someone actually like I'm hearing popping up okay someone could also be when they come someone when they come and see you someone could also be in distress as well this could be a fire sign strong Leo energy I feel like for some of you all you're confused on how to move forward with the situation that could be involving another air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius okay I'm also picking up on a wolf in sheep's clothing all right some of you guys could be dealing with a Gemini some of you guys are, yeah. Some somebody's sitting here waiting on what the hell is going on. Like, what's taking this damn, what's taking this damn Leo and this Gemini so long to separate? I definitely feel like the emphasis of some type of candle magic or some type of ritual work that was done in the past. Like someone, someone's not understanding why they can't break a connection between you and the Leo. This could definitely be a divine soulmate. All right. Yeah. For some of you all, you're walking away. Yeah, some y'all, some y'all are walking away from a goddamn air sign. There's definitely something significant going on here with the tearing away of air and fire here. Okay, for some of you all are dealing who are dealing with the water sign, 